if you guys have been following me on Instagram, Samara Josephine, you know that I've been loving oat porridge in the morning. It's high in protein, keeps you fuller for longer, and this is how I prep it. So I actually like to blend up my oats um, and I mix in some vegan chocolate protein powder with them. Um, and basically I blend my oats up because it's easier to digest um, and you can actually mix all the dry ingredients before. I also add some maca powder into it as well, just one teaspoon. Um, so I mix up all the dry ingredients and prep them into portions so then in the morning it's really easy, everything's already mixed. Um, so basically you can prep this for a whole week if you need to um, and this keeps for as long as you want. Again, I'll put all the recipes in the description below so if you want proper measurements and stuff you can see them there. Then in the morning, this is what I do, um, you can actually put this all in the microwave but um, just for the video, because I was at home, I was doing it on the stove. So you can use a little bit of almond milk, a mashed banana, and um, you can just add more fresh blueberries and mixed berries on top. If you're taking this on the go, you can just pack the dry ingredients with some berries um, and when you're at work or at uni, you can just add some water and microwave it. But again, because I was at home, I prefer to make it a little bit more creamier with some almond milk and mix in the um, mixed berries as well for those antioxidants. And then this is what it looks like. So for our next recipe for lunch, I made spicy Asian noodles. So I love adding tofu for one of my meals because it's high in protein. Um, I feel like when you marinate tofu well, it can it really absorbs the flavors of whatever sauces and spices you use. So um, I always use firm tofu and make sure um, I press it and get all the water out. I'm not too fussy about this because I actually don't mind it being a little softer than normal um, but you can use like a tofu press if you have one or um, you know press it for longer than I am here and then you know you just cut it into whatever uh, size um, tofu blocks you like I actually prefer my tofu a little bit chunkier but um, if you like them in strips or um, smaller cubes you can do that as well um, so basically I cut up the tofu and then I make the sauce in a different dish. So here I'm putting nutritional yeast um, that just cut off on the video, sorry, but um, some nutritional yeast and then I like to add some tamari or soy sauce. Um, and then next I add some water just to make the sauce a little bit more runny. You can, this is optional, but you can add some hot sauce like sriracha into it as well. And if you like it a little bit sweet, you can add some maple syrup. Again, that's optional, but I like to have a lot of flavor in my sauce. And then I whisk that all up and use, uh, put all my tofu in there, mix it up. And I like to keep my tofu marinating for a couple of hours in the fridge um, just while I prep everything else up. This is again optional, but the longer you keep it, the better the flavor will be. So for all our um, noodles, we're just having broccoli, capsicum, spring onions, eggplant, carrot, and of course the noodles as well. Um, so just in a big wok or pan, you could add some water or olive oil. Um, either one but if you have a good non-stick you probably don't even need it um, I always start off frying the onions or the spring onion and I add all my spices to this so um, I add some chili flakes I really um, play around with the spices here uh, depending on what flavors I like you can also add some turmeric and mix spice um, just make sure you really fry the onions up because you want that nice flavor to come through the onions and then once the onions are all fried up you can start adding all the vegetables into your mixture so starting with the capsicums then the eggplant next I added some soy sauce to the vegetables as well as a little bit of water this roasted sesame garlic um, sauce is something I got in the vegan box 
um, it's optional it just adds a little bit more flavor but you can always just add your own spices finally the last vegetable I put is carrot before mixing through the tofu that has been sitting in the fridge so hopefully by then all the flavors have really gotten into the tofu and of course the last thing you add is the noodles um, cook that all up until the noodles are all nice and hot and this is the final dish you get so this makes about three to four portions. You can just put them in a microwavable container like this and heat them up at work or at uni. You can even eat it cold if you like. Moving on to dinner, we have a chili bolognese. So for this bolognese, I actually used a pasta bottle, some onion, and I tried out the 100% plant-based vegan mince from Woolworths. So this turned out really well. It's from Funky Feels. I also decided to buy some bio cheese, which I don't normally have, and a can of lentils, and finally just some fresh tomato. So this is all you need for the chili, and of course you need um, some rice as well that you can just cook on the side. So starting off with the onions again, so um, again just fry them on a pot um, and this time I added this mingle spicy seasoning to it. Again with the spices really experiment with what you like your flavors. I really like spicy hot chili flavors um, but if you personally don't you don't have to include these so paprika is also one of my favorite spices to add. A tip here when you're cooking anything like curries or chili always fry the onions up with the spices before add a little bit of water or oil and really cook up the onions before you add any of like the meaty or vegetables um, then this really just means that the dish is going to have all the spices and the flavor without the um, spices kind of being diluted in the sauce or whatever else you put the actual um, bits or like the meat and the vegetables will have more flavor if you do it this way rather than adding the spices at the end. So now I've added the funky feels mince. Um, you just have to really make sure this cooks well. Um, it doesn't take nearly as long as like normal meat mince would take. Um, it, I was actually really surprised how quick this cooked. Um, so make sure you really mix it through. Um, so that you get all the flavors. I love to add a little bit of barbecue sauce. This gives it more of a meaty, smoky um, taste. Um, but again, it's optional. You can um, leave this out if you prefer not to have like that sweetness in it. Um, I like to have chunky tomato in my sauces because I really like having fresh tomato. Then you also add the one can of lentils. This will just add more protein to the meal but also just um, you know make the meal have a little bit more fiber in it um, and also I just like adding lentils finally super easy just add the tomas uh, tomato based pasta sauce mix it all through and you just need to make sure that the meat or the vegan mince has really cooked through well um, and then just add a little bit of water I've mixed it through with the pasta um, sauce jar cook this until the meat has cooked completely um, and then you're done with your chili super easy you can add a little bit more sauce if you want um, chili sauce and barbecue sauce is what I put here finally just serve it up with some rice and some bio cheese and fresh spinach and that is um, our final meal